Alright, what's going on guys, Rising here, and today you'll be watching a DNA bomb here with the MK14, and this is an elite version of the MK14 called the Eclipse, and even though it gives me plus one damage, I think it gives me plus two fire rate too, so you think that that would sound good, on paper it sounds good, but honestly, the MK14 is still kind of the lower tier weapons, you kind of have to be skillful to use it, play smart, you just can't run around, so you guys will see within this gameplay, I'm kind of sticking to this area, and that's because they're spawning to the left and right side of me. Sometimes they do spawn directly behind me, and one of, a couple of times they try to jump up there and get me, but I'm able to outmaneuver them and get the kill. And I'm only showing half the gameplay. I forgot to mention that. I'm only showing half the gameplay because the first, like, half is actually kind of glitched out. Like, my recording device uh, kind of, you know, messed up, and it was some... It looks like it was kind of pixelated within the gameplay, so that's why I'm only showing half of it. But even though the MK14 did receive a buff uh, recently, I feel like this thing is still kind of underpowered. I think, I think it takes, like, two or three... I actually think it takes three headshots to get a kill, and it's also with the EPM-3. I know that that recently got a buff too, and it's a three shot to the head to get a kill. And I, feel, I feel like the semi-automatic should be a two shot headshot. That's just my personal opinion, but uh, you know, like I said, I, I just feel like this is, is very underpowered. But today's commentary topic, we're going to be talking about my favorite weapon here within Advanced Warfare, and it's not really the one that I think I do the best with. I think it's just the, my favorite, the one that I like to have the most fun with, and that's the e MP-11, the MP-11. I feel like this one is it's pretty good. I have an elite version called the Squeaker, which gives me plus three fire rate, and then I have a built-in red dot, and it's it's really good. Honestly, it's a lot of fun to use. Uh, I guess my most favorite gun to use to try to go for a gameplay would probably be the AK-12. I got an elite version called the uh, Rip or the Rest in Peace. It's a really good version of the AK-12, probably the best gun within the game. I really do enjoy using it, trying to go for gameplays. But I hope you guys really did enjoy uh, this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. It does nothing but helps give the video a little bit more exposure, helps the channel grow. Thank you guys for all support lately on all the videos it does not go unnoticed if you guys will see anything in particular here with my channel let me know down in the comments below and also let me know your favorite gun down in the comments below i am pretty sure we're going to be seeing some bows some ak's uh maybe in the arx i do like to use the arx occasionally whenever i do good with it i feel like i accomplished something because that weapon is not the best we'll also be bringing out a class setup with the arx soon uh maybe tomorrow the next day i will not be posting on christmas day the 25th be hanging out with my family and doing some stuff like that so I won't be posting on them. I'll have a video tomorrow and then we're going to be taking a day break and be back on the 26th for some more daily advanced warfare content. Be coming up on January. We might be going back to some older Call of Duties because you guys might be getting tired of this but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nevertheless, it's been a pleasure to you guys and until next time. Just rising out. Peace. Oh, and I forgot to mention shout out to Urbo because he helped me out in this gameplay doing some call outs and let me get some kills on this side of the map. Probably wouldn't have got it without him so thank you man.